complete. And start making me mon... Yeah, this could be a barrier towards making that sweet money. But if it just goes away, which I'm sure it will, we can start mining again. Because damn, do I love money. A lot of research to be done around here. It's pretty nice. Hostile fleet detected. Scary thing is, that's probably just going to be building more of those cultist ships. So many aliens. And I'm expected to kill them all. Well, got to rise to expectation. We'll build up to force limit and have our Rance Thrustmaster fleet take on everything that moves. Hostile fleet detected. All right, I got to clear these guys out for the safety of my own race. I feel like it might be worth my time just blowing these guys up so they stop dancing around me. It's not like we're that injured, so let's go and try and take them down. And our science ship is near enough by to take them down. Hostile fleet engaged. System Down you go. Situation log up now it's possible that those guys claimed they were peaceful aliens, but I don't believe that for a minute. I'll go back and rest up. Any more aliens inside my system are gonna have to go down as well. And damn, there's so much to be constructing. hate to hear that you're unemployed. Science is always pretty good in our home world. It does cost maintenance though, but yeah, get learning. Situation log updated. Rance has been elected as Prime Minister of Navarra. What? Our Rance? Hold, hold the phone there. Well, damn. I wonder, I'm scared to ask. Okay, he also wants to drill deeply. <laughs> Prime Minister Rance was elected on a platform of increasing mineral output by producing mineral stations in orbit and suitable planetoids. Well guys, lock up your daughters because Rance is in charge now and he insists that we're going to have mining stations. Do they... St I wonder if they specifically have to be mining stations for uh, mineral or if any will do. Construction complete. I guess regardless, let's get mining. We'll see if mineral counts for one, and then we'll try and find somewhere that we can build for um, Monola. Architectural sense, and he's an investor, so he's pretty good. Pretty good reason to be building. Was he elected after this? I wonder if I can cancel this project, get a full refund, which should be 60, bringing us up to 208 creds, uh, 208 minerals. And then I can build it again at a reduced cost. Every little helps. Except when it strictly brings you up worse, but let's not worry about that. Keep on healing, folks. Jake, it said minerals. I know it said minerals, but I'm just wondering if it actually meant minerals. Do as I mean, not as I say.
Okay, good enough. Let's try and hunt down and destroy any that get in our way. So sure this is worth the extra cost just to get some shields on the go. Debris analyzed. I mean our current Corvette is very cheap and costs 62. Uh, sorry, costs 31. This one costs 38. That's like a 20% increase in cost. Oi, they gotta go. You can't trust these guys. Anyway, I got more stuff to survey, so get on it. And I wonder if there are any timed things to check out. The debris in wherever it is that was over there might not be worth investigating at this point in time because it's a hellishly dangerous place to be. Whew. Hmm. Minor man. Also, okay, so I have to also destroy that shipyard. I wonder if it counts as someone else destroys it too. Uh, I'm dying for a water break, so I'll be back in just a moment. I'll let this play out on its own. Hostile fleet engaged. Now I know Rance did do quite a bit of ruling during his games, but why did he step away from being an admiral? That I just can't get behind. I think we're about to lose one of these corvettes, but only one, right? Energy siphon, how you tempt me, but not for 253 months you don't. One and only one. Research this and survey system, please. You guys get home for repairs. Phew. Jake, either hire a new admiral or let Rance rule from the battle fleet. Yeah, I was despairing at how he got pulled away. I actually can't have him uh, work here now. I'm saddened by this. Evasion, hull, or evasion? Hmm. Evasion's pretty sweet, but young rulers or young admirals also pretty good. Hmm. Cannot use emergency FTL, it's pretty harsh. I think we'll go with you. But uh, no, I think you are going to be. Rance's right hand man, Sill. Alien proto civilization encountered. Survey of Colador 3 has revealed certain regions of the planet are home to Privian, a primitive alien proto civilization. Are pro probes, you say? To shreds, you say? Now, sadly, I don't think I can actually investigate those guys, so it is. Uh merely interesting. I also need to build those mining posts or my mandate is going to be down the toilet here. So uh, construction ship, let's see if this mining station counts. If it does then whoop de doo Oh. Well we can also see if this mining station works, it's a little closer. Jake still is a girl, I'm well aware.
Man, Rance was quite the experience. So maybe it's time we got that colony on the go. Listen up, Nevada. I need one colony share. Okay, I need uh, just a bit more mineral. Would you look at that? There we go. And we are going to be taking Zoldar 3. Hostile fleet detected. Bleak though it may be. Now, who are these menace societies? They were encountered, does that mean you guys found them? Not seeing them here. Oh well, you guys are all getting repaired up. And then I really need to clear out my borders. It's for the safety of our people. So how long do I have to clear that mandate? I do like getting the influence bonus, but at this point, I'm, at this rate, I'm going to be drowning in influence. I wonder if there are policies worth taking, or anything. Purge prohibited? Not on my watch, it ain't. Heavens no. Orbital bombardment of light is a little uh, lacking, shall we say. But I wonder if our people will be unhappy at limited bombardment. Ah, light is all right. Should have had a look at this uh, to begin with. No free voting here. Of course we'll be aggressive at first contact. Slave procreation? Slavery? Yeah. Mind you that, I'm not so sure. Oh well, stuff to be thought about. But no, what I was really opening up this was just check our edict, see if anything was worth investing in. Since I am going to be dripping with influence at this rate. Speaking of things that need to drip, let's get rid of these alien scar. Okay, it's just an alien outpost, but nonetheless it needs to go down. System survey. Peaceful but racist, Jake. Describe to me how that is possible. Simply just watch... Uh the Navara playthrough, and you will be enlightened. So this time I'm Hostile going to note engaged. that areas with grey names are ones that still need to be investigated. So you're going to survey that one, that one, and then that one, please. It was still with one L or two. Lovely. Updated. Nothing lost. Keep that research going. And then... So did that count towards my mandate or not? Yes, it did. They want minerals, but hey, who wouldn't be unhappy with just straight up money as well? Whilst I'm there, that is too much research to pass up. Titanic life. We all know how well that goes. It goes really well. Sadly, we're not really up for uh, this kind of colonization. Maybe in the future. Hostile fleet detected. Hopefully, they don't interrupt this. Debris analyzed. Well, does it really matter at this point? So, once you guys are healed up, I want to investigate the areas around me, and all will be well. Might as well hit it up to fastest. And once that colony ship of ours is done, Zoldar 2 shall be ours. Two L's, Jake. Good. Glad I glad I typed it down with two L's. Construction complete. So with our strike force ready to roll, where do we hit next? I should probably make sure that this comfy corner is good to go. And our colony ship is going to make us hemorrhage money, so let's get colonizing right away. A mistake that I've been making is not throwing you down on anywhere with uh, minerals and food. And preferably somewhere that has good adjacency. 
And that place has good adjacency, assuming I fill in those sinkholes eventually, which I plan to do. Bleak, they say. I'm not scared of low amounts of money. Uh, no, I am afraid of that. Not afraid of low amounts of food. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has, a, has had to build a new model from scratch. Okay, I'm liking the influx of money there. And research, of course, but mostly the money. Naval cap goes up. Monument to purity. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna want that at some point. I'm glad it has no maintenance, but do I really want it? Really? Orbital farms. I mean, apparently it's a rare technology. I should probably get it. Might come in handy since stacking happiness does lead to good boosts in... Uh, well, we can see it in our home world here. Happiness of 80%? You don't have a governor, do you? Why? Oh, Tom... Uh, Tom Burness. He's back to being available. I guess he got downgraded from uh, ruler. Well, that's kind of good. That might give me a free influx of governors. Unless uh, I can recruit a better one. Long living, experience gain, iron f oh, I like the sound of that iron fist. Tom Burness doesn't sound too good, but uh, Bernheide sounds pretty good. I like how I can just rename people on the fly. Our colony ship has gently touched down atop a large flat mesa near the Ecuador of Lochne. This location will serve well as a first landing site, and the rivers that flow in the canyons below provide easy access to fresh water. The ship has been permanently converted into an administrative headquarters. Wonderful. What is also wonderful is that because we are... Uh, well, it doesn't really matter right now, but because System we so are a... Do, 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 do. Yes, Jake, words won't fail you now. There we go, we're conformists, so we don't have to worry about our ethics diverging. Oh, jings, that's more stuff that I want. Time to get that mining mandate of ours down and down right. Yeah, soon enough we're going to have too much influence. I would like to get these grants on the go, but... I'd end up hemorrhaging uh, influence for not all that much. Okay, we're gonna leave it be for now, but soon we're gonna be hitting up all those anomalies. I just want to spend my time exploring, building, just getting everything I can on the go. Research complete. System Illegal complete. aliens. Although perhaps getting some build costs down on somewhere that I need to do early is uh, pretty good. Ah, I don't need any of these really. That said though, I'm about to be uh, overflowing on that. Hmm. Okay, we need those destroyers on the go. And uh, who... I want it all, but um, I need planetary capital for my colony eventually. All right, strike force. You could be bigger and better. Although I would quite like to get some battleships, and frankly, I haven't been researching enough to do with better guns. Still, you could be spending your time killing everything you see. There's obviously nothing to kill around there, but we will have threats soon enough. I'd quite like to control these areas as well, so hop to it. If anything looks different to us, destroy it. Jake, do you prefer slaves or to purge this campaign, or will you improvise? I'm always improvising around here. But all I know is that we are a peaceful race, and we will have to uh, play to that tune. Excellent colonies on the go. We should have a look at Lochne. 
If only there was a special uh, edict for making them breed faster. We're going to get our spaceport on the go, even though it's very expensive on minerals, because we can equip it with a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A mineral thingamajigger. Uh, a s no, that's not the word I'm looking for. Give it some solar panels and that'll give us some money. It's what I was going to say, but now that I think about it, is there anything better I could be investing that in right now? I think not, because having the spaceport will give us some extra... Uh, oh, it already gave us extra naval capacity, which is what I was looking for. Because really, I need more corvettes. Ah, but I want battleships. I need to rip these guys... <coughs> Rip these guys a new one. Bless me. Got another added world to the south as well, Jinx. They don't stop with the uh, the giving around here, but it is fairly busted. Jake, solar panels just pay for the maintenance of having orbital station. Net gain is zero. Sounds good. Then the gain you get there is some naval capacity when you really need it. And I really need some destroyers to take down these cultists. Have they been removed? That still tells me to destroy them. I'm somewhat tempted to investigate that anyway. Okay, research it please. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Oh, hold on, you you have that one you have that stuff to look at as well. Hope they can make it in time. Assist research is so good. It is so good. But getting better weapons is also pretty important. And that'll take forever. Should probably get some blue shard throwing on my go. On the go. But that's so good. Difficult. Okay, I'll be fine as long as they don't engage, and it appears like they're in no hurry to engage. They're also barely building up. I don't think they're building at all. So much for autonomous blah -de blah Nojo192 is saying, Jake, I'd like to try my hand at a mod game. Excellent. Um, tonight is a bit pushed for time, but uh, try any other evening this week and you should be good. I have uh, quite a bit of respect for anyone that tries out a mod game. So good luck. I'm sure you don't need it. Alright, what's best to build on at the moment? Everything really, but... Oh man, I do love money, even though I need minerals at the moment and not money. Very specifically, not money. Well, there are minerals here as well. Even though that's a one mineral, but in every mineral a dream. So those destroyers of ours, oh man, looking at it, we're going to be waiting ages on those destroyers. Unless this debris magically gives us some information on destroyers, it would be awesome if it did. Wow, his construction ship is named the Glorious Decimator. Glad someone noticed that. Okay, tell me, what do you know? Blue lasers, apparently. But uh, this is dangerous for me to engage. Even if I were to destroy the force, I would then have to take on this star base that's probably going to shoot me down. So, you done good, but get on with the other tasks that I gave you, please, and get back to being evasive. Okay, I shouldn't have done that, because now they... Uh, now they're going to ignore Evading hostile fleet. all the stuff I just gave them. Okay.
one you'd have to fool. Research that project. And then tell me everything I need to know. About quite a few things. Strike force is still feeling a bit lazy. Let's have them investigate more. Because we did see some enemies over here. Jake, make Nucro Dancer a mod game and I'll speedrun it. If only it were that simple. It really is, but if only. Alright, so what kind of alien scum do we have? Oh, well, I think it's get out of this system o'clock. Much as I would like to take out these alien menace. Maybe we should just uh, make our way back to Navara, dock up, and if we're so far away from getting destroyers, maybe it's time to corvette up. Maybe it's also time to see if we can get some better corvettes. Well, yeah, if we get uh, small coil guns on the go. A little lacking on the shields, but can't go wrong with that. We'll overwrite the pearl with our new design and say hell yes to having the pearls. I wonder how much it would cost to get these guys back and uh, upgraded. 244. Sure, let's give it a go. How are we going? Have we encountered the big blue blob yet? Not yet, but yes, emphasis on the yet there. Man. Galaxy is vast, ancient, and full of wonder. Research complete. Jake, can you control the color of your starting space, even if it's in the starting options? I'm not 100% sure, but maybe it's based on your primary color here. Maybe. Alright, we're capped on that influence. I need something to just burn it on. Hmm, but I'm not sure what. The thing is, we have so much influence going on here. Don't really want to build outposts at this point, but I guess I could burn it with policies. Yeah, that's going to make a good and a fair chunk. Free thought is fine, because I don't have much ethics diversion as it is. Well, why don't I just get all of them on the go? I mean, that's only a net gain. And I can burn some backing whoever I want as well. Like this guy, he seems pretty good. Each candidate supports... Hmm. Strengthen Navara's research outpost by beginning construction of at least four new orbital research stations. He wants to do the mining. So what do we have here? I don't really care how long they live, or the frontier outposts at all. But you want me to believe that Rance isn't going to win? What a joke. Ah, it'll be fine. Nature will take its course. This is all for- ooh, advanced government forms. I want it all, but... Trouble is, our research is not so good, so it needs to get a lot better. Especially on the engineering. Situation log updated. <laughs> Naturally. He's no rants, though. I wonder how we do for rulers Research in that case. Complete. So Navara still has Tom Bernheide in charge there. But did that free someone up? Someone like... If I could click on the right thing for a change. No, it didn't free anyone up. Rants, I guess, retired. Jake's sinkholes. I well, I know we have a sinkhole problem on Lockney. Also, Lockney needs a better name. Things I really should get on those sinkholes, shouldn't I? Hmm. Cloud lightning sounds good as well, especially since I researched that, and it's a rare tech. But I'm not sure if it's worth my time at the moment. There's uh, surveying to be done. I think I'll focus on that. Right. Oh, hold on. That was our science that just got a, uh, 
our scientist that got elected. This is actually a bit troublesome the way it keeps plucking away our uh, our people. I guess that's why you were so good at everything. Hmm. Troublesome. Guess that means I need a new scientist, but I don't want to recruit someone that's so low leveled. Research speed, research speed, and research speed. Rocketry. Recruitment. Yeah, I do like uh, recruitment cost. But I also like anomaly, anomaly fail risk reduction. So we're going to get you, and we're going to tell you to check out those anomalies. Ah, of course they don't show up here now, do they? Um... Apparently that's pretty hard for you. Some of them are very, uh, very high risk. Because of your pathetic level. Hmm. That is regrettable. I guess you need to learn a thing or two about surveying before I set you on anomaly duty. Well, it can't be helped. Uh, also, forget that. Weren't there some colourful characters like the time travelling king in Navarra Stream Jake? Don't they deserve something named after them? Aye, but I don't remember them. It was so long ago that I have long forgotten their names. Alright, so. I guess we start in Iberia. What was the name of some of the Basque provinces? There are only three Basque provinces, and I can't re can't believe I can't remember their names. But the Grana uh, the Navarra campaign started with taking over some uh, provinces from Granada, so I have no problem in calling you Granada, and naturally you are in the Granada system. Construction complete. Anomaly found. I'm going to have so many anomalies to investigate me by the end of all this. And I can't forget our mandate at the moment. We need to do research outposts, and I can certainly get behind that. Although, first and foremost, I always want those minerals. But in addition to that, yes, I do need to get on the whole researching thing. Is I'm gonna to have to spend that influence, otherwise I get influence as a bonus and no real. Why don't I make an edict for you? How about you become a uh, land of opportunity? I've never seen people do uh, migration of their own accord, but I guess it's good for me that they do. And then again, is there any real need for it? when I can get energy credits from somewhere like Nevada. Hell, I need those minerals, let's give that a go. It's not much, but it's some. Also, we have some alien scum who need to die. We have some alien scum who need to die. Sill, get on the case. Jake, why not use an outpost to expand? Mostly because I don't need to. My border is encapsulating everything around me right now. Will be a bit of an issue if somebody else uh, gets too much influence on this, but we'll see how that hostile goes. Fleet detected. Evading hostile fleet. It's regrettable that you uh, are not getting on the job I want you to do right now. Well, that being the case, I do have a mandate to keep up, so get building. And you get destroying. We're all now built up, so we should have plenty of shields to protect us, but I want to see that in action. Fleet engaged. Oh, they're using the whole suck your life away approach. In an alternate Danish universe, I dealt with some of those. Man, they make short work of shields around here. I think I'm researching that tech, so that only works out pretty well for me. Situation updated.
Is migration allowed in your policies, Jake? Probably. Migration, primary species only. Just so happens I only have my primary species. I also want to check out Granada for a bit in terms of happiness of my people. It's only plus 10%, which is not giving us any kind of production bonus. And man, Bleak is hurting that food, isn't it? But we can fix that. Yeah, edicts are expensive, aren't they? Did I accidentally select? No, I did the... Uh... What did I do? Ah, of course, production targets. Would be a bit more useful if I actually Resistant built anything that helped uh, gaining that. Planetary capital sounds pretty sweet. Costing a ton of minerals, though. I'm not sure if I'm up for the key, uh, up for the task on that one. I am up for the task of my people breeding a touch more. Is getting more money. So much that I want to do in the early game. Jake, give Granada a governor. A sound plan. And if they get a good governor, then... Uh, oh, and it's a good way to sink my influence. Okay, if he lives for a long time, then that's pretty good. Although I also want him to gain quite a bit. Oh, let's go for the young one. He'll live forever. Maybe even learn a thing or two whilst he governs that bleak planet. Life struggles to survive here. I think it's going to be just fine on Granada. How about that mandate, though? I only got one. Jake, what are your ethics? We are fanatical xenophobes and pacifist. Kill them. They look funny. You know, I think pacifist doesn't translate well in Basque. Just a hunch. Just a bit of a hunch. Oh, they can try their magical sucking on us, but it's not going to work so well. Situation log updated. Not even a challenge. Please investigate, and then investigate. Because I need to know more about this. Your species will become vultures on Granada. Purge them beforehand. Nonsense. I have a great deal of respect for Granada. How I love it. So we built two of our stations. The third one it's on is, it is on its way. We're going to need that fourth and the fifth. Investigate everything. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I might just be able to take on that nasty spaceport if I just get a bit more of a combat ready fleet here. Let's get those corvettes on the go, as many as we can manage, and then take them on. It is, after all, our mission. I like how nobody actually wants to uh, get into contact with me. <coughs> According to Google, the Basque word for pacifist is bake sale. Apparently they find peace delicious can't make this stuff up. Alright, we got the energy siphon ourselves. It seems something worth actually making. And uh, you seem like something worth shutting up, Skype. Regenerative hull tissue will still take an age and a half, but crew quarters is really worth making. Really cuts down on the costs, and I'm all about cost cutting.
So it's nice being all peaceful and such, but I'm not liking the way that my... Uh... Hold on, Admiral Rance is available for duty again? I guess he didn't retire. So what are we going to do with Admiral Sill? I guess Sill is on backup duty. I'm all about getting rants on the go, though. Mm -mm. Jake, will you be releasing a review, assuming you haven't already? There's no way I could do a review on Stellaris. I mean, I work for Paradox. That would make no sense at all. Is it going to be anything other than this game is perfect? Please spend all your money on it. Alright. Decent chunk of uh, influence for that. But you know what would be more decent? Actually, there's not much I can do around here. Adaptable. I want to know more about you, Bernheide. What does habitable... Uh, what does... What did you even get again? Adaptable. Okay, so he's going to gain experience even faster. Wonderbar. So this might be an area that I want to get an outpost in. But uh, that would be after I see just how good this is. That doesn't look like anything I'm going to be interested in. Tundra World, but... I am interested in seven energy credits and six minerals. Construction complete. Yeah, I'm especially getting interested in those minerals now. Do your sellout. Jake, enslave Sill. Go for some roleplay after all. I wish I could. Man, what am I going to do with excess admirals then? Hmm. This begs further investigation. Research complete. Man, I have got one wealthy area around me. Oh, I think someone is cruising for a space abusing. System survey complete. Hostile fleet engaged. And I can learn more about their uh, sucking technology. Paradise Dome again, just asking to be made. Desert World I care not so much about, but maybe. I mean, I guess better now than way too late. <clears throat> Situation log updated. Once you've done all that, that other stuff, please research that. You guys <clears throat> back to Nevada just to repair up a chunk. And then we're going to see how Rants can take on these accursed cultists once and for all. Hopefully they haven't been building up even more. But being hopeful is a dangerous thing. Let's go for it. Maybe we can ease them out of where they are. <laughs> Jake doesn't want to give his company ba games bad reviews. Let's his mods ban his co-workers. It's a fair system all around. Alright, construction ship, let's be honest, there's a lot to be exploiting right now. Already exploiting you? Oh my days, that's something I want. And then there's this anomaly. So how long is our ruler going to be ruling for? Next election is in a year, and then we'll get our incredibly talented scientist back. Sounds nice. Once this is all investigated, though, I'm keen to build up a frontier outpost because it should give us access to these delicious goods. What the hell? The Najagus Vale? What in the world? Nebulae give 30. Hold the phone there. Nebulae give a 30% tr travel speed penalty to ships in interstellar flight. Okay, sure. Didn't know that could be a thing. Another anomaly. And I mean, sure, we could research it, but we'll leave it be for now. Almost all anom anomalies will be dealt with when we have better science. Alright, not sure if Strike Force is currently capable of taking this on, but that lack of assuredness excites. 
Okay, they're keen to engage us, which is brilliant, because that means we can take care of them without interference from the spaceport. Come on then, you cultist scum. I'm going to put you in your place. Nobody opposes our divine pacifist rule and lives to tell the tale. We're still going to have to take down one of their destroyers, but this is something that can be done. Looks like they eliminate our shields in one pop with their destroyer, which is a little concerning. But let's just see how fast we can eliminate their destroyer. It seems the answer is... Yes. Captain Taboho Jawara, the commanding officer of the glorious Celestial, served with distinction during the recent engagement that took place in the subterraneous system. The Admiralty on Navarra, recognizing the qualities of a promising flag officer, has decided to promote the can Another Admiral? He's cautious and he's pretty good. Sorry, Ranson Steel, but you just you just got outperformed. It's kinda hurting my leader pool, is it not? Nine out of ten already. But honestly, Taboho is a terrible name. Since it was a crusade, I'm just going to call you Battle Pope. And with that... Hmm. If we just give you a little while, you'll regenerate quite a few of your shields. Shields can go up to 25, so once they are... In fact, they almost are, so... Engage! Isn't that a battleship, or are they the same thing? Uh, did I say battleship? I probably meant destroyer. Research complete. After you've done everything else, please investigate that. There's quite a few things to be learned here. Hostile fleet engaged. Now, regrettably, there are not many resources to be had around here, but that doesn't change the fact that I really want this. Might be that our influence will grow here. Or I might just build my outpost here to get even more systems in on the goodies. So we can take this out without worry and hurry, right? I don't like how it's... Oh my days! It does a number on my everything. Why are you all just stopping? I worry for my ships right now. At least it's eliminating shields first, so we should get some good volleys in. And we will bring these cultist scum to bear. Jake, it was a battleship, you said destroyer. I say lots of things. Couldn't hurt to get some better uh, weapons on the go here. So... Jings, there goes one. Rance would never have lost that ship. There we go. The alien shipyard that was used by the Navara in their crusade against us has been destroyed. Some of the cultists were captured when their escape pods were picked up by our forces, including their chief engineer. His knowledge of the shipyard's advanced technology has proved quite valuable. Unfortunately, we have also learned that the cult's charismatic leader departed the shipyard several weeks ago on her new flagship, a more powerful variation. Bollocks. Oh well, at least we got some good kind of research and also science ship there is more to be found. And once you're done, I'd quite like to mo know more about this system. Please tell us about it once you're done. And you guys, you're half dead, so please, King Haim. Rance would lose every ship on both sides. Man, Rance is a hero. It's Maria Theresa. Find her, Jake. Aye. Okay, man, I'm glad our scientist is getting better, but I just wish I had the other scientist. Thing is, I could well... Hmm. Hmm. Hmm is all I can really say about that. What's going on here? 
Battle Pope, Rance, Tom Bernhide. Why is this guy in a fancy colour? Champion of the people increases happiness. Elizabeth Pratt, all these people. I should check and see if some of them actually exist already. Okay, I'm getting the impression that the people in yellow are ones that are currently in my leader pool. Because battle pool... Ah, but Rance is also there, so I don't get it. I kind of want you back working. But then I can... I guess I can choose who I want to rule over my nation. At a cost, that is. So I really would like to know what is, uh, what the color of this means. Hmm. I believe females are yellow, males are blue. Wow, Battle Pope is female. Okay, so what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess they're all leaders that we currently have. Why doesn't Sill take the, uh... Okay, Sill is not available for some reason. Rance should lead our people once again, though. Let's try supporting Rance and see what happens. Okay, all that does is boost up his vote share by a wee bit. For the most part, it's going to be random. Interesting, but the more you know. I didn't learn how to play games by reading. I learned them by doing. Research complete. Yellow should be active leader. Rance is on vacation, Jake. Sounds much more plausible. Because I don't need to know gender here. System search. Never has been important. Certainly isn't now. Okay, we're getting a bit dry over here. Maybe I should set up my outpost here. But I want to get it researched first. I should also check and see what our mandate is going to be before I go on a building spree. But I would like to establish myself over here a touch more. Since there's probably a lot of riches Situation to be had around updated. here. Okay, Elizabeth Pratt is our Prime Minister. What was she? She was one of my scientists. That's almost a shame, but... It means I can drag you out, Wallace Ball. Ooh, but you have anomaly fail risk reduction. Mmm. Okay. Looks like you're gonna be in charge there. Oh yes, but that mandate. Orbital research, you say. So I need to build more research stations. That's going to be difficult when there's far less that needs to be researched out there. Alright, but I shall not despair about that. Mine. Research. Oh man. Research. 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 Deep space reconnaissance probes have picked up faint subspace emissions in a star system consistent with the drive signatures from the alien ships used by Navara. The cult's missing flagship is the most probable source. We should send sources to search. We should send forces to search this system as soon as possible. As soon as, man, I got stuff to do here. That is forever away. And again, we decimated their previous fleet. I'm sure we can destroy their next, right? Maybe getting some destroyers on the go would be a cleverer thing to do. I'll build that up and then maybe invest in uh, two destroyers, see how well that goes. Whilst we're at it, though, should get the destroyer considerably better than we have at the moment. Yeah, I knew those energy siphons would come in handy. Not so keen on the complete lack of armor here. Might be an idea just to... Oh, I don't have any armor researched. That will be part of it. Oh well. That's what we got then. Coil gun and energy siphon. Okay. 
Jake, you still have expanding options. I'd, su I'd suggest explore them by colonizing. Yes, I have many things to be doing. But I'd like to see if there's something I can colonize down here. Yes, I have an added world available to me here. It's kind of small and crappy. At this rate, I'm tempted to build another science vessel. And by tempted, I mean I think I... Oh, but then... It's not all that easy now, is it? Granada, we built you, right? You should definitely have a solar panel network on the go. I definitely do want another science ship on the go. Jake, the anomaly fail risk is only for a certain anomaly, not as valuable as it might seem. There we go then. There's much to be researched at this point. Shoulder Boy says, just got here. How is his empire so big? I have one planet Three and another planets. barely colonized planet. It's not the... Uh, it's not the staggering empire that you empty. might be fooled into thinking. Alright, there we go. We've got our new glorious science vessel. The thing is, one of our scientists is currently ruling, so I'm tempted to not invest in another one. Then again, research speed, research speed, anomaly discovery chance. That sounds fascinating. Besides, once all's said and done, I will have loads of people with which to uh, assist science. I'm not sure if I ended up researching that or not. I am regretting the fact that I did not, because it's such a powerful thing. In any case, you are going to be checking out these areas. I would like you to check out... Hmm. Well, there is this, but this is like a safe place. Is it really worth me surveying when there are other places to be looking into? I say no. With our strike force currently not doing anything, I would like it to take care of any threats that our fleet may run into. Our science ships, that is. Is a new science vessel named Glorious Indomitable? I think Jake's civilians might be overcompensating. Nonsense. Hostile fleet detected. Oh, this is exactly what I came here to fight. Where are they going? Where are they going? Research complete. I think we're going to have some debris to clean up at this rate. Construction complete. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet engaged. I am I have every confidence in them there. Point defense is rather nice. It's all rather nice. That's the trouble. I want it all. Situation log updated. Once you're done with whatever you're doing, please research this. As for you guys, there are people to destroy. Whew. Ah, hello, Daniel. I hope all is well. Do I really need more, uh... Do I really need more influence at this point? I think not. And I'm glad